Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Thursday the 6th of June, the local media headlines today. Residents of Charlestown are absorbing the news that they could soon be getting used to live music and open-air alcohol sales after Cornwall councillors approved a licensing application designed to satisfy the needs of Poldark fans. The owners of the harbour say the licences are needed to enhance the Poldark experience for tourists, but local residents are worried about noise, disturbance and car parking. Cornwall Reports also answered many of the questions surrounding the Newquay spaceport now that we know where the money is going to come from. The lessons are all there, waiting to be learnt in New Mexico. And the Truro and Newquay MP Sarah Newton might want to think twice before declaring her support for a Tory leadership candidate. The last one she backed dropped out less than 24 hours later. This is the week when the BBC goes bonkers about the Royal Cornwall show and already the coverage is wall to wall. Among the agricultural stories is one about a health hub for farmers. The Cornish Times covered an accident which closed the A388 between Callington and Launceston. The Cornish and Devon Post keeps us up to date with the Charles Causley Festival. The Camelford and Delibold Post told us about some particularly fetching poppies at West Pentire. And finally, Cornwall Live had more important updates about TV's Love Island. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.